I'm going to show you an easy way to create an email a hero design using Canva. So if you're someone that doesn't want to use Photoshop, you don't have access to your designer, or you don't have a graphic designer, this is just an easy way for you to create your own graphic using Canva, which is a really simple tool. So you're going to come into Canva and Canva gives you all of these pre-made sizes like photo collages, wallpapers, presentation posters, Instagram posts, but none of these are the right size for email. So what you can do is choose custom size. You're going to choose 1200. And so that's always going to be your width to make your image clear for retina displays. Your height can change if you did 1200 by 1200. This would be like a square, but we don't want to take up the whole um, top section of the email. So I'm going to do 1200 by 600 and then we'll create a new design. So I have this template, which is for a record shop and I'm going to add a hero image in right here. So you'll go to Canva. They give you all of these pre-built templates. So you can use these actually, they're very easy to use. For example, I kind of have this like vintage look going on. So I could actually scroll through here and find something that was similar that might fit. Or you can create your own and we'll do both. So let's just use this one to start. And I'm just going to double click on the text and change this to new record. So obviously this font is not right for my brand, but I can maybe change it to this font. You can play around with the fonts and then you can just drag and drop these all over. We'll leave this the same. You could put a CTA here if you wanted to shop now and then you can change your colors. So I'm using like this blue color. I'm going to copy the hex code and then change the click on the box and change the background code here. So I can type in like my code right here and it'll find my blue. And then here, these are already clipped in. So I could go out to the internet, say, or to my website, say this was my website product picks. Just gonna copy this image. I'm gonna paste it in and I just drag it over and it's gonna fit into that space. Let's go get another one. We'll do, let's do this one. And I'm on Pexels right now. Pixels, Pexels. Um, this is a great royalty free image site if you need photography. I'm going to paste my woman in there. Okay, so that fits. There's some other assets back here that maybe I want to change the color of. And the background. Let's make it. Let's make it match my template. So my background color here. And then there's that yellow. So it makes it really easy. And maybe I want to make this white. So I'm going to click the A and choose white. You can move these around. Oops. And maybe I have to select both. Okay, so here's my new hero image. I'm going to download it. It's going to ask you what type of file you want. So if you're using a lot of photography, like pictures, you want to do a JPEG. The image size will be smaller. If you're using, say we didn't have these pictures and we just sort of had like flat backgrounds and text, maybe a pattern, then you could just, you could use a PNG. I'm going to do the JPEG because I want it to be smaller. So here's my size. If you have a paid account, you can adjust the quality. Like here, I don't have a paid account, but I can download with Pro if you have a Pro account. Or you can pay $1 to download this image. I think they're charging me because I have a custom hero image size. So I'm going to pay... Okay, so I just paid my dollar for my custom size and it's downloading now. So if I go into Clavio, I'll drag in my image.
And so here's your graphic. And then um, if you don't want these margins on the side, you just do fill image area. And there, that is how you get text on image. You can paste a link in here and add some alt text. I always do it centered. Sometimes in Outlook, if you don't hit center here, even though we're filling the entire canvas, it'll still move it over to the side. And that's it. There's your Canva 1200 pixel image. So if you want to use one of their free images, okay, we'll go to create design and then you will do an Instagram post. I think these are free. So this will also fit inside your email. It's just that it will be tall. So if you're okay with that, you'll do the same thing. You'll, you'll create the Instagram post. You can pick a template or you can just do your own. So let's just make our own. Let's do this picture. So I'm just copying, pasting it in. I'm just going to drag it to fit. Okay, I'm going to add a color over it. So I'm going to drag from elements. I'm going to drag this block of color. And then here in this transparency option, I'm just going to move the transparency down. So to give a little color over it, and then I'm going to write my text here. Up, no, oops. So this can be white. And then you can move these around everywhere and, and Canva will give you these guidelines so you'll know like right where the middle is. I'm gonna move mine up a little bit because I'm gonna add another text that says and I'm going to make this kind of like a CTA. Drag it down. You could even do like in here, you could look for an arrow and some of these will be free and some will be paid. So if it has that, it's paid. Let's see if we can find a free one. Oh yeah, you could even do like animated ones. Okay, let's do this one, this free. Oops. Okay, so there is a little graphic and then we're just gonna look at how this looks different inside Clavio when it's a square shape. So download and go back to my template. So here is my 1200 by 600. And here is the Instagram size. So you can see how much more room this takes up. It's free though. So you can really play around with the templates that they already have, or you can create your own. It's literally everything is copy paste. It's really easy to um, spin up a campaign this way in Clavio. Mm -hmm.